what's up guys, Cliff here once again, and welcome back to Overwatch. So, I just hit level 200 yesterday, and I thought, what better way to celebrate that than opening 30 loot boxes. So, my last loot box opening, usually I record every 20 loot boxes, and last time I didn't do it, because people always got really mad at me for how lucky I was, and I thought this luck, like, this can't persist, right? But then I opened them privately, didn't record it, I mean, I recorded it, but without commentary. And I ended up getting really good stuff again. I'm like, oh, thank God I didn't record that. Anyway, <laughs> I level 200, got 30 loot boxes. So what about we just go ahead and open them? I gotta be all honest. After hitting like 100 level, f level 140 or something along those lines, I felt like I had pretty much everything I wanted except for like a few skins. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of dupes as well. But just to be expected when you're level 200. And I've never actually bought any Overwatch skins. Alright, I, I never like bought any of those packs for real money. I always just leveled up and still get pretty much everything I wanted. So same goes to the summer skins event, the summer games event skins. For the like every single skin I really wanted, I got quite easily. But Ooh, there's an epic. But obviously there's still like a couple more that I wouldn't mind having. Ooh, nice. Take a knee, I like that. That looks stupid. And let's keep going. So, it is Wednesday <laughs> now with me recording this video. And hopes were that yesterday, on Tuesday, <clears throat> the Halloween event would take place. And didn't. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait at least one more week for that to drop. Maybe even longer, who knows. And the problem is that I don't want to play the game until that event hits. For the simple reason that... If you're Prestige 2, level 1, then, you know, leveling is obviously going to be much, much faster. Oh god, wow. I mean, it's a dupe, but still, I, we, we got an epic amount of currency, we got a dupe, a legendary, and even a rare, and then the stupid spread I don't really care about. Okay, I mean, hopes are that for this event, I'm not going to need to grind loot boxes, because I'm going to be able to just buy the skins I want. Like, that's... Reach for the sky. That's a hope, right? Because people were complaining so much during the summer games event. Like, oh my god, I got so much currency and you don't let me buy those skins. So, part of me thinks maybe they'll do it. But another part of me knows that Blizzard loves their special edition stuff. Their limited edition stuff. So, I don't really think they will do it. So, yeah, the thing is there's still like a couple more videos I want to make. But I can't do that on the PTR, so that's not a big problem. I also got like, more dupes, apparently. I also got hours worth of footage uh, on my hard drive, so that's not a big problem. The one thing I am contemplating to get, since I already got 1k uh, currency up here. Not impressed. Okay. Sure, why not? Is a Zenyatta skin, because I'm playing so much Zenyatta again since they reverted the hitboxes. <laughs> so uh, that's a thing. Uh, also, I've been really glad to see that my Overwatch videos now get more support than they used to, especially when I switch from Dirty Bomb to Overwatch. Is that new? Oh, it's just a pink skin, I see. Well, some of you might not know this, but my channel grew with Dirty Bomb because I really liked that game, played a lot, so I made a lot of videos, so I grew quite a following uh, in that community, and just a lot of dupes and currency, I guess that's fine. And let's say it didn't translate well when I swapped because I didn't like the game anymore. So I had to fight a lot of hate coming for my Overwatch videos. Not really any sort of content, but Overwatch in particular because it was always compared to Dirty Bomb. But yeah, that's why I'm not really getting a lot of views. But I thought, you know what? Shh, fuck the views. I, I just don't want to cover a game I don't like anymore. So now I'm here playing Overwatch and I make Overwatch videos. I'm really glad that they now start to pick up a little bit. I get more comments, more supportive comments, more likes, more views. So that makes me really happy. We got a fair few epics. You know what? I haven't been using a new animation emote thing for Road Token in a while. Uh, yeah, I'm also fluctuating a lot in subscribers because some of my Ultimate Bomb videos are still trending. Holy shit, that's three rares and one epic amount of crits. <laughs> I'm, I'm fluctuating subscribers because my old Dirty Bomb videos are still trending. People subscribe based off that, then they see I don't make Dirty Bomb videos anymore, but Overwatch, so they unsubscribe again. But some of the subscribers stake, I get more subscribers from my Overwatch stuff as well, according to analytics, which is really good. So, once I hit 2,000 subscribers, which might still take a while, maybe it won't even happen until next year, but I want to do a giveaway, and it really depends on my finances by that, but the plan right now, however, is... Ooh, that's epic. Hold on, what is this? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, I have to use this one. <laughs> this is amazing. So the plan is to give away a copy of the Overwatch Origins Edition once I hit 2k subscribers. Because I feel like, you know, most people interested in Overwatch already have Overwatch. So... I think there's some way of upgrading your Overwatch Edition, right? But then you can, like, throw in the Origins Edition, then you get a key for the normal, you can give to your friends or something. I mean, anyone can just join to get it for their friends, I guess. I just, I don't know, I feel like that is a cool thing to give away, so... I'm really trying to work on my content and try to be consistent with my content, so I do hit those 2k subscribers and I can do this giveaway for you guys. Okay. We got, I think, one legendary out of this, which was a dupe that was unfortunate. Not as lucky as usually, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So it's also, as soon as the, uh, do I want, <laughs> I'm going to use this one. Equip? Okay, it's equipped. Nice. So it's also game season soon. With all the games releasing, I pre-ordered Shadow Warrior 2, so I'm going to be taking a look at that and see if I want to let's play that. Um, same day as the Origin Access... Early access for um, Battlefield 1. So I'm also going to take a look at that game. And if I like it, I'm probably going to buy it and then let's play the entire thing. But I'm first going to take a look at what it has in store because it's a really expensive game and I don't... Easy mode. <laughs> Diva one. Bad guy zero. You can't beat this one. I'm sorry, you can't beat this one. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking a look at BF1 once again as well. Especially the, um, the story mode really interests me. A lot of sprays that don't really interest me all that much. I have Punch and Kid on him. If, you, if you're not using Punch and Kid, you're definitely doing something wrong. If at first you don't succeed, blow it up again. Okay, I <laughs> I really like this one just because it's like, I don't know, it's funny, it's crazy and stuff. You don't succeed, blow it, up, blow it again. up again. Okay, I really like this one too. So I'm going to use it for a while. Uh, let's get some sprays. So I'm also looking forward to Titanfall 2. Uh, it's... I'm on top of the world. Oh yeah! You gotta believe. You gotta believe. So I always gotta make decisions with like to the best. my finances. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take this one with my finances and stuff. But yeah, the game's I'm looking forward to. Shadow War Two already pre-ordered. I'm gonna see if I like. It. I can still refund it. I mean, it's Steam, right? Um, BF One for the ten hours I get via Origin Access, and as also Titanfall Two. It's what I'm looking forward to. Finally, I can get Punch Kid on her. I always forget. Do I get a new skin for it? Celestial. Wow, that actually looks kind of cool. Look, it's like, it's not really a rainbow, it's a... Uh... Shit, there's a name for that. <laughs> it does look kind of cool, but it's not that noticeable because the rest is just basic white. That's a little sad, but it's still cool, still kind of cool, not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep Cobalt, Cobalt's my favorite. I got Imp, but I don't really like Imp. Not gonna lie. This one I would have used the shit out of, but I didn't get it, unfortunately. This was not one of the skins I direly wanted out of the event because I don't play Mercy all that much. Okay, let's take this one. I'm sorry, this part is just me rambling and like checking out what I got from uh, from the loot boxes, but... Maybe you guys are interested to see what... Um, what I got in my inventory, I don't know. Maybe you don't mind me rambling. Royal? Stick with blood. I don't play Reaper like at all. Too easy. Next. What really bothers me about Reaper is that his voice lines take fucking ages. Punching kid. It's scientifically proven that... Oh, hell yeah. That, um... Using the punching kit spray... Increases your... How it's done. Increases the, your perf uh, competitive performance by 20%. Do I want punching kit anymore? I think I do. Right, I think this almost wraps it up. We're just gonna be checking out these really quick. I just don't want this to like say new. It's not new. Let's not buy the pig while it's still in the. I don't even want to know what you were gonna say, buddy. Yeah. Get royal blue here, and we're gonna be buying that Zenyatta skin, who conveniently is at the very end. So. <laughs> Natural selection, no monkey business. I still like the laughing one the best. I am Mother Rock. I want to strong as mist. Okay, I still like mine best. I didn't get all that much good stuff. A little disappointed, but that's fine. All right, so let's get the um, the Ifrit skin. Unlock this bad boy. Boom and equip. 
All right, guys. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Much appreciated. Thank you all for the support on my most recent Overwatch videos. I've been really inspired to make a lot of them, but I'm trying to not do them for the sake of making them. So whenever I don't have a good idea or something I don't think is a good idea, I'd rather hold off on it, have one day without a video, and then try to work on something for the next day. So I hope you've been enjoying the content so far. If you do like it, do feel free to leave a like on your way out. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.